hello guys welcome back to my youtube channel if you are a new subscriber please don't make it your last if you are a returning subscriber you are also welcome so guys thank you for my 546 subscriber thank you very much i don't take this love for granted i'm really grateful so guys one of my subscriber asked for this video being a military wife so guys i'm a military wife my husband is a military person so the two questions she asked was um the challenges that comes with being a military wife the rules that may have that's me i might have find or found too demanding so guys if you see me looking down it's because i'm reading it from those um, jo um journal i don't want to forget i wrote them down yesterday so guys what's being a military wife what is it okay the role of being a military wife does not come likely it means being supportive loving loyal fiends and reliable if you're a military wife you have to be very supportive to your spouse very loving very loyal fiance and liable because it's not easy yes what are the challenges that comes with being a military wife number one you are going to be you are going to move around true you are going to move from one state to another from one location to another it's not easy you know when you are packing for one place it's not easy that's number one challenges the number two challenges you face is you get to be an expert at making new friends yes because from one state to another from one location to another you meet new people new faces so you just have to be friends with them number three shifting is hard on the children true because you living from one state to another one location to another it affects the children because this location they're in this school this other location they go to this school they make new friends go to this other location they make new friends they go to this other location they make new friends so it definitely is going to affect the children yes very true then finding meaningful work in terms of career is difficult for a military spouse true because for you to get a job like working nine to five it's very difficult for a military wife because once your husband is moving definitely you want to move with your spouse you working in the bank here you can't just go and meet them like two two years later and that okay i want to leave this bank i'm going my husband is going it's not easy nobody will want to accept that you understand that's why most military wife they own businesses on their own most military wife they are their own boss it's not easy that's just the truth then number five the fifth one is divorce rates are high among military couples true divorce rates are very very high because if you're not loyal if you're not um if you're not loving in fact not supportive to your spouse at the point you get tired because your husband will go to this location goes to this place sometimes in a year you might only see your husband twice and if it's if care is not taken and you don't have the fear of god and um you really do not love your spouse definitely you get tired and the next you will just tell your spouse that you are filing for a divorce it's not easy that's just the truth then um the other um um just i just mentioned five out of there are many but i just decided to mention five out of it then the second one is rule that you may find too demanding for a military spouse like for me the rule i found too demanding for me is <laughs> number one continue to pursue your own needs wants and desire and goals for me i find it too demanding because you just have to find to join your your, your spouse to find their own passion or to be there for their own passions at the point you tend to forget your own self and for me i find it very um challenging number two seek out mentor yes you have to seek out for marriage before you you need to seek them once in a while because they give you advice like this this stage you are i have passed through it before this is what i did this is what i this is how i went about it they will help you then the number three one is prepare to live far from family true you can you live far from your family from your loved ones you can take like two years three years five years before you see your family just know that your spouse your children are your new family but thank god for phone talk to herself on phone with herself so yes the fourth one is um plan ahead for everything truly once you married him um you are married to a military person just try from that beginning you start planning okay in the next five years this is where we want to go to in the next 10 years this is what we want to do and funny enough you being a military wife you'll be the one to help your husband because most military men they don't have that time that's just the truth so whatever plan you have then we'll fund the military men will fund you but you have to have plan for yourself because at the end of the day um it's not easy like my husband used to always say that you start counting your your retirement from the day you started your from the day you start your service that's the day you start counting your retirement so that you will not be catch or you will not be caught on away 
So you start preparing for your retirement right from the beginning. So that once you retire, you're not come and be living like from hand to mouth. It's not easy. Then um the I think okay, the fifth, the fifth one, I think I'm done. Yes. So guys, I think I've tried to answer the challenges that comes with being a military wife and the role that you think are more demanding. So if you like more of this kind of video, you love this kind of video, please guys, tell me in the comment section and I will do more for you. Thank you guys. Until I see you in my next video. Bye.